So far we have been seeing Fourier series applied to periodic signals. Now we're going to start diving in into Fourier transforms for a periodic signals. There is um, a video on YouTube from three blue, one brown that explains Fourier transforms. And uh, again, this gentleman does a fantastic job of putting some visuals into these mathematical concepts. So I highly recommend you guys watching this. But the scope of these videos it will, is to apply Fourier transform uh, to a periodic signals to linear circuits. So we will be focusing on how to apply these into our circuits or circuit analysis. F the difference between Fourier series and Fourier transforms is the following. For Fourier series, we have been doing a collection or a s both of them do a summation of infinite number of sinusoidal waveforms. But the Fourier series is kind of a, a discrete representation of that signal, especially when we start doing the amplitude and the phase spectrum of our signal. We see that we have here these kind of spikes at the fundamental and respective harmonic frequencies. And if I change the fundamental, you will see that all of these are going to shift according to that fundamental frequency. The transform, the Fourier transform on the other end is a continuum of values. So it has this integral, which makes uh, a representation of that signal in the amplitude spectrum and phase spectrum more as a continuum representation of frequencies. All right, let's go over a flow diagram that will help us visualize a little bit more what, what we are going to do and where we are at so far. We have been doing things in the steady state and we're going to keep on the steady on the analysis of our linear circuits in the steady state. And we have our linear circuits and when that input is a periodic signal and just one sinusoidal input, in order to get the answer that we're looking for, we use phasers. If that input is a periodic signal, but any type of waveform, so triangle wave or a square wave or any type of wave combination of multiple sinusoidal functions, then in that case we use Fourier series. Now if our input it's an aperiodic signal, something that does not have a constant period or a period, then we're going to use Fourier transforms. Now to apply Fourier transforms to an aperiodic signal, there are two paths and this is similar to the diagram that we saw on the videos about Laplace. So we start with our linear circuit and you can apply the Fourier transform to get what's called a transformed circuit. Now on this right of this flow diagram, you will be in the frequency domain. So you apply Fourier transform to go from this time domain to the frequency domain. You have your circuit transformed. Now you can apply or you can extract your equation out of the circuit and you get this alge alge algebraic equation. Now we can massage that equation. Uh, normally here we use partial fraction expressions, so similar to what we do, what we did for Laplace. And the goal is to have this equation in a form that becomes friendly to apply the inverse Fourier transform, so we can get our response waveform. The second path is to take the differential equation out of, out of our linear circuit and now apply the Fourier transform on that differential equation to go to the frequency domain. And then the steps from here on are similar to what we did for path number one. We massage this equation so we can put on that partial fraction expansion format. It's friendly then to apply the inverse Fourier transform to get our waveform. So the next videos are going to explain path number one and path number two with some examples so we can see how to apply Fourier transform into our linear circuits.